and welcome to Star Wars Celebration 2023. The president of Lucasfilm, the one and only Kathleen Kennedy. We are so excited to be back in London. We were here in 2016 and we have a ton of stuff to share with you guys. Joining us on stage to celebrate Andor and tell us more about the second season, we have director, creator, and showrunner, Tony Gilroy. As well as our stars, Diego Luna, Andrea Arjona, Kyle Stoller, Denise Goff, Genevieve O'Reilly, Andy Serkis, Jocelyn Sibane, and Mahanid Bahair. Hello, London. I am so very pleased to meet you all. I mean, succinct, perfect. Yeah. How does it feel to be back at Star Wars Celebration here in London? Amazing. Buenas, buenas, buenas tardes a todos. I have to say that it, it means a lot to be in London. I'm so glad Celebration is here, back in London. It's so thrilling to be here in my hometown and uh, just the energy is kind of, you know, it's palpable in the room. They're just people so excited, so much passion, bouncing back and forth between, you know, the panel and, and, and everyone listening and watching. And it's just, it, I, I, it's just a, gr it is a great celebration. and. You realise how many people Star the Star Wars universe has brought together over the years, over you know decades, and now all these new iterations with the new series, driving younger viewers back towards the originals as well. It's, it's this big cycle of life, which is which you just feel the passion in the room. When we when we come to these things, sometimes you're promoting something, and I think for us specifically as Andor, people have already watched the show and we're meeting fans after they've already watched the show, which is rare, you know, for us to experience that. So that's been really special and to see the excitement and the applause means that they like it and you're just like, oh my God, this I'm, I'm a part of something so special. Celebration matters because it's an opportunity we have to thank the audience, thank the fans, you know. This, this journey has been amazing because of their support, their love, you know. Uh, it helps you. It, the, the, it's a long ride, you know, and since day one, I remember it's like seven years ago we were here, and uh, since day one, they're there to cheer you off, to tell you how much what you're doing matters to them, and that's, that's, that just happens with Star Wars, you know, and I, I was really happy today to be able to, to give back a little to, to these people, you know, and uh, to make sure they understand we're working really hard and season two matters a lot to us and we, we just want to make sure they love it as much as they, they did with season one. Andor season one really set up all the characters, it set up the world, it set up um, each of the characters' ideals, also their drive and also their own personal sacrifices and that's what we really delve into in season two. It was like being welcomed home like in the most <laughs> incredible in, intense way it was like a, a family festival and um, it's been amazing to come back with the reception of Andor already being out and being so warmly received and and seeing firsthand still what it means to fans I really want them to feel that we stick the landing I mean really I you know it's, it's sort of graphing onto the question before, but I really want to feel like, I want to feel like we honored the, uh, you know, there's some canonical things that happened in this five-year period that we're responsible for. Uh, I, want the, I want that audience in, in, in that room that really cares the most to feel like we've been, uh, you know, proper and reverential and careful with, with the property. At the same time, I want to, we really want to stick the landing. 